Hey folks, welcome to another stovetop workshop. Uh, a couple of people are asking me how you do this and uh, I figured I'll just show you. Um, you go to the ASC and you look for Don P's thread on how to build a simple MOSFET unit. He's got a picture there that'll show you the four parts, which is the actual MOSFET, this unit here, right, this little bastard. Um, I'm not sure what this is actually called, this unit, but it prevents uh, the big power surges from blowing everything apart and then a couple of resistors. Um, so what you do is you take the first one, like you take this here, and what I like to do is you just grab that middle pin and you bend it on the long side. Alright, what I call the long side, where the cyber's got more body. And that makes it easier to grab your nippers, get right down low, and just trim that just enough and she'll pop right off. Just like that, because you want that middle one gone, hey? Eh? All right, now what you do now is you take one of the 2K resistors, which is the uh, red, red, red resistor, which is, uh, looks like that one, red, 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 and uh, you jumper it between these two points. So when you're done, it'll look like that. All right, then you hit that with some solder, okay, and then while it's this way, you take one of the uh, 100 ohm resistors, you attach it to this side, alright, so you attach it to this side, and then solder it, so then what happens is you'll have this point here, alright, MOSFETs half done. <laughs> so what I'm going to do now is I'm, I'm going to jump out, and I'm going to bend this unit to where it needs to be, mount it so you can see what it looks like, and then we'll go on from there. Talk to you shortly. Hey folks, one of the things you need is a little eyelet. All right, it's one of these things again. You know, I'm going to be using shrink wrap, so which again, I'm going to pop off the insulator, and that's all you got to do. Just carve it a little bit like that, and these ones are easy. Just give them a turn. Oh, you dirty bastard! <laughs> Ooh, cut that a little better. What the hell? Make me look the fool, which is pretty easy if you ever met me. There we are. Easy peasy. Right? Just like that. So then, uh, one of the things you do is you'll take this thing. Uh, one of those. And what I do is uh, line it up beside it. So it's like that. Right? And then I take where the screw's going to be. And I grab it with the plier, with the needle nose pliers. And then I just bend that bit around. Eh? So it does like that. Then you can trim off that little piece. So it looks sort of like that. Um, and then just make sure the screw goes in. Like you can put the screw in, right? And then uh, what you want to do is you want to take your black, secure the eyelet to it, and solder it on. And then you'll basically just take your uh, simple MOSFET. This piece will go. Take that, put it through there. Take that, put it through there. Put your nut on. And then this side of the unit is secure. Yeah, that side of the MOSFET is done. I'll show you one here in a few minutes. Be right back. Hey folks, welcome back. So now what you do is you take this here. And what I like to do is I'll uh, I'll put the you know those pliers like right there, and then I'll start the bend, right? Finish it, then put the pliers again right there, and bend it back, and then just kind of fold it over and twist it around, right? So then what happens is it'll look like this here. I mean, you'll have a nice, you'll have a good solid connection. Then you can go ahead and solder it, and then uh, it'll look like. Uh, oh, I haven't soldered it yet. Bring right back. So yeah, when it's done, when it's soldered, you know, it'll be good and solid. It'll be solid state. You know, it'll be awesome. It'll be awesome. So yeah, that's the next step is to secure those pieces together. This piece here, and then uh, I'm gonna do some shrink wrap on these, and I'll show you the next step. Hey folks. I uh, edited the video for the tube there and uh, I realized I forgot to show you a step so that's why I'm just going to put this piece in. Um, you know the resistor that you put here? It's one of the trigger sensor wires. All right, So I had forgot to show you, you know, the resistor is attached here, the resistor is right there. Just twist it together, soldered it, put on some shrink wrap, right, and then put on another layer of shrink wrap to keep the whole thing nice and safe. And uh, yeah, and then I'll, you'll see the rest from this point on. Welcome back folks. So now what I do here is with a piece that was still sticking out, 
right? I take one of these collars that's, you know, from one of the inside of the pieces, you know, I just take it apart like normal and then just cut the excess off and then you have this collar. Um, slide the collar onto the wire and then I put the wire over the, the uh, metal uh, electrode piece here and then push them together until they're like good and secure and then I give it a quick crimp and then I solder it. And then when I'm done, it looks like that. So now the business end of the MOSFET is done, all right? You got positive to the battery, positive to the motor, and one of the uh, trigger wires. I'll show you how to put the rest together in a little while. Welcome back, folks. So when I was cutting my black trigger wires, I was also cutting red trigger wires. Like that one. Meow. Now another thing I just did is I just took a length of my mil spec wire and I took it and it covers the entire length of the unit all the way down to the other end. And what I did is I set it up so that right about the point where the MOSFET is, I cut off the Teflon coating and I've attached my other trigger wire. This is the other part of the data wire, the sensor. This has power going to the trigger wire. This one brings it back, tells the MOSFET when to turn on and off. Right, so then, yeah, I'm gonna solder that, and then I'll put shrink wrap on, and then I'll put it together, and I'll put it together, and I'll uh, I'll show you where I'm at then. Ooh, starting to double talk here; it's getting late. <laughs> oh yeah, don't forget, you know, solder this stuff. Make this stuff solid state. You know, make sure it's gonna last you. You know, it's not gonna come apart in the field or whatever. All right, so I'll show you some more in a second. So there we go. Put a little bit of twits of those together. Okay? Just set it on top, right where the screw is, so it's gonna be nice and covered. It should be ski safe. Um, Put a little shrink wrap on the battery side. Twisted together somewhat a little bit of the uh, motor side and the uh, two trigger wires. Twist them together and put a little shrink wrap on there. And then I'm gonna put a big piece over the whole kit and caboodle. Oh, that's not big enough. Got to cut a bigger piece. Be right back. There we go. One completed MOSFET. Yes, they're not small, but they don't cost 35 bucks either. <laughs> um, yeah, like these ones here, I use for like. Uh, Guns with full stocks, like full M4 stocks, or full, uh, you know, full like an M733 or something like an M16. We take that without even thinking about it. Like you know what I mean? But yeah, so that's it. That's you know, simple, simple building a simple MOSFET unit. That's kind of the biggest version I've ever made. I kind of like, I, I kind of like just kind of kept it big so you could see everything. Usually I don't quite do it like this. But yeah, so there you go. Thanks for watching, folks. I figured since I showed you the part about adding that one little wire, you know, a little addendum to this video, I figured I'd might as well show you what a small one is. Remember how I said I made that one big so you could see everything? This is actually how small they are when I'm done with them. You know what I mean? They're pretty, you know, this is a big lighter, so I mean, this gives you an idea. You know, they're relatively small. You know? So yeah, I was just going to show you them. I'm putting this one into my MP5. That's the video you're going to see soon. Actually, I'm going to do my AK-47 with the uh, with the MOSFET. I'm going to use that big one. <laughs> and then uh, I'm going to do this one into my MP5. Stay tuned for another stovetop video. Stovetop workshop. Play hard, play fast, play safe.